We're also seeing some more movement in the volatile Republican presidential race with less than two weeks to go before the Iowa caucuses. Ron Paul shoots to the top of the pack with 28% support in a new poll of likely GOP caucus goers. Paul is just three points ahead of Newt Gingrich. Within the poll sampling error, Mitt Romney gets 18% in the Iowa State poll and uh, Rick Perry 11%. Ron Paul under tougher scrutiny now that his poll numbers are climbing. Iowans are buzzing about the real possibility that Ron Paul might actually pull an upset win on January 3rd. Our chief political analyst, Gloria Borger, spoke with Ron Paul just a little while ago. Uh, I understand, Gloria, uh, the interview got a little contentious. Uh, We've been asking about some news. You've been, we, we had seen and been asking about some newsletters that appeared under his name back in the 80s, 90s. Gloria, today you had a chance to press him on whether he was aware of some of those very controversial statements about issues like race. Right. Uh, what did he tell you? Well, Wolf, I know you've asked him uh, about these newsletters, and today I pressed him about whether he had actually read any of those newsletters that went out under his name. Uh, listen to what he said. Not all the time. Well, well, on occasion, yes. And did you ever object when you read them? Well, you know, we, we talked about this twice yesterday at CNN. Why don't you go back and look at what I said yesterday on CNN? And what I've said for 20 some years is 22 years ago, I didn't write them, I disavow them. That's it. But you made money off of them. I was still practicing medicine. That was probably why I wasn't a very good publisher, because I had to make a living. But there are reports that you made almost a million dollars off of them in, in 1993. Oh, I'd like to show, see that money. So you read them, but you didn't do anything about it at the time? I never read that stuff. I never, I've never read it. I, came up, I was probably aware of it 10 years after it was written. And it's been going on 20 years that people have pestered me about this, and uh, CNN does it every single time. So well, when are you going to wear yourself out? I mean, out? wouldn't you say it's a, no, but when you, you know, is it legitimate? I mean, is it a legitimate question to ask that something yeah, went out when under you get your the name? name? And when so, you get the answer, it's legitimate that you uh, sort of take the answers I get. You know what? The answer is, I, I didn't read, write them, I didn't read them at the time, and I disavow them. That is the answer. Well, it's just a question. I mean, it's legitimate. It's it's legitimate. These things are pretty incendiary. You know, the ro because I of people like you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on. Some of the stuff was very incendiary, and you know, saying that in in 1993 the Israelis were responsible for the bombing of the World Trade Center, that kind of yeah, stuff. Okay. So. Oh. Goodbye. All right, all right. Thank you, Congressman. I appreciate your answer. I appreciate your answering the questions, and you understand it's our job to ask them. Thank you. Seems like uh, Ron Paul uh, got tired of talking about it, uh, Gloria. Uh, it's a it's a tough yeah. series of questions you asked them, but uh, you obviously had to ask them. Well, I did have to ask them. He clearly thinks it's irrelevant. He thinks it's been asked and answered that uh, these newsletters uh, went out over 20 years ago and he said he had nothing to, nothing to do with them. So it's clearly a question uh, he'd rather not be asked. Gloria, you also pressed him on the negative advertising he's been airing in Iowa and a lot of it aimed at Newt Gingrich. He's accusing Newt Gingrich of, quote, serial hypocrisy. Gingrich has vowed to go positive, stay above it all. What did uh, Ron Paul have to say about that? Well, he says that he doesn't consider his ads negative at all. He says he's just taking uh, on Newt Gingrich on the issues. Listen to what he had to say. You're running a lot of negative ads, particularly against Newt Gingrich, calling, accusing him of serial hypocrisy, which is a personal charge. Um, would you be willing to stop running those ads? No. Why not? Because I don't consider them uh, uh, attacking him unfairly. I mean, it just points out the position he's been on. That's my job, to show what my opponents do. They flip-flop around and they change position. And if the media won't do it, I should do it. What about this notion of super PACs, these outsiders coming into, into uh, Iowa, spending millions of dollars on behalf of certain candidates? Do you, do you like the idea of that? No, but uh, I don't want to put, write a law that says people aren't allowed to spend the money the way they want. What I want to do is eliminate the environment. I want to eliminate the uh, auction. The government is a big auction. They steal money, then they pass it out, and they give the incentive. So uh, regulating expenditures in campaigning is like regulating lobbyists. I don't want the regulations because people have a right to petition their government. The problem is big government 
having too much power and too much control and too much to auction off and therefore the incentives are too great. Wolf, it's clear that he doesn't like the idea of these super PACs, that he believes they're run by the special interests, which he also doesn't like. But as a libertarian, he's conflicted because he doesn't want the government to regulate uh, this kind of political spending. What's the Ron Paul message, Gloria, that clearly is resonating with a lot of folks in Iowa? You know, we were we were an event with him today in Mount Pleasant. He had a full house, about 200 people here. And he got a standing ovation, Wolf, because the message that people like, that Ron Paul delivers, is that government spending has gone out of control, that we ought to stop spending overseas, we ought to focus on reducing our debt, and that uh, big government is not the answer to our problems. And people here applauded him again and again when he gave an that answer to their questions. Good stuff, uh, Gloria. Thanks very much.